Hi everyone, it's Ty from the TCG Block here. I'm just going to showcase my live twin debt profile. Um, if this is the first time you're seeing one of our debt profile videos, Josh and I run a very pure format where we don't allow any non-archetypal extra deck monsters and we try to keep the main deck as pure as possible with some tech cards that either fit the play style or theme or they just generally sort of fit the deck. Um, which makes for some very interesting deck builds. So if that format interests you, check out some of the other builds we've got on the channel. But I'm here to showcase the Live Twin deck profile today. So Live Twins are an interesting archetype. Um, I was a fan of them at release, but I didn't really get it. And I, at least they didn't feel finished. And I didn't understand where their power came from. But after some uh, new additions to the archetype, I feel they're in a good spot. Um, it's a smaller archetype. A lot of people consider it an engine. You can play it as an engine for competitive, but I run it just pure in the deck. Um, it's, it's probably one of the most consistent decks I've ever used as everything is one card combos. So without further ado, I'll get into it. We're gonna start with live twin Kisa Kill um, and live twin Leela. We run play sets of each of these. And if you're unaware of what these cards do, they each have a, just an onboard passive effect, which I feel is a bit of a misdirection. So for Leela, it's your opponent must pay 500 life points to create an attack. And for Kisa Kill, it's each time your opponent dares and clack, you, declares an attack, you gain 500 life points. These effects feel absolutely useless and you never use them. The main reason you want place it to these cards is if you normal summon, e normal or special summon either of these, and you control no other monsters, you can special summon another one from the deck. So a Kisa Kill will special summon a Leela from the deck, and a Leela will special summon a Kisa Kill. So if you summon out pink, you get blue. If you summon out blue, you get pink. And so you wouldn't, if you were to normal summon a uh, live twin Leela, you wouldn't actually search and special summon Kisa Kill. You would search and special summon the alternate version, Kisa Kill Frost. And similarly to normal Kisa Kill, you'd search and special summon the Leela Treat. Now, these two have the effect of special summoning from the hand. So blue, if you control pink, you can special summon blue. And if you control blue, you can special summon pink. But their main effect typically is to, it's a banishment effect from the graveyard. Um, if you normal summon blue, you wouldn't search and special summon pink because she's a play starter. You'd special search and summon the alternate pink, the frost. Um, cause purely because she's extended out and you don't want to waste your starters, especially if you're going for a long duel. Cause this deck can be very grindy. Um, these two have alternate banishment effects from the graveyard. So for Frost, she is more useful than Treat. For Frost, when your opponent searches a card or add a, adds a card from their hand, apart from the draw phase, you can banish this card to draw a card. So she allows you to to add to draw during your opponent's turn, which is incredibly useful. And for Leela Treat, off the top of my head, I'm pretty sure as if your opponent battles with an evil twin monster, you can banish it and make their attack zero or something along those lines. Not as useful, that's why we don't run it as a playset. Um, overall, I think this is the best ratio to have for the archetype because you don't need three and you need three of everything else. Um, as for the final monster in the live slash evil twin archetype is the singular evil twins Kisa Kill and Leela. Um, it's, it started off as their boss monster on release, but now it's sort of just an alternate card. Um, can special summon itself from the graveyard or from the hand by attributing two link monsters, which we'll get into that later. Um, goes to 4,400 if you have them in the graveyard. It's a good card. Um, it's not incredible, but I like to run one of it purely because it fits the theme well, and we'll get into it a bit more when we talk about the links. Um, that's it for the archetype monsters. We'll get into the tech cards we run. So I run two slower swallow. Um, if you control two monsters with the same level, and if you didn't catch it before, they are all level twos. Um, you can special summon this from your hand, then you contribute it to get another draw during your next draw phase. Um, is it incredible? No, um, but any draw power where we keep to pure is incredibly useful. And these, this deck tends to grind and, and really draw out games. So I'm able to get multiple draw phases in. I run two slower swallow. I run a singular backup secretary. I'm tempted to take this out, but for now it's still in a sort of a relic of a former build. If you control a cyburst monster, which both of the original Leela and key skill are, you can special summon it. Pure extender. Um, if something goes wrong, you can get this out. I run one, well, my hand trap for the deck, because we're allowed one hand trap in each of these decks, is Effect Veiler. 
incredibly useful. Everyone knows what effect value does. And finally, what I consider the bit of spice of the deck is BLS Envoy at the beginning. Everyone knows what this does. Banish one light and one dark from the graveyard, get it out, and you can banish one per turn. All of these are light and dark. So it's very simple to get out with this deck. Um, we'll move on to the spells. Um, the Live Twins have a lot of good in archetype spells, so we run three Live Twins Sunny Snitch. It's the newest continuous spell card. For activation, you can search a Live Twin monster. That's incredible in itself. It also has the effect of if you control an Evil Twin, which is typically the extra deck, um, each time your opponent summons a monster, they take 200 and you gain 200 life points. So, and they stack. So if you have all three, which is very, e not very easy to do, it's easy to, it's all right to do. They take 600, you get 600. If you're facing a combo deck, like for instance, Rockets, that can really add up quick. Or something like Dark Lords, where they're using their life points as a resource, can add up very, very quick. We also have Secret Password, which essentially you can use to search a, a Live Twin Spell or Trap from the deck which you can always, let's say for instance, this obviously will search you pink or blue to start. If you don't get this or pink or blue, you, there's a good chance you're getting this, which can search you this, which can get you to pink or blue. Um, it's one of the reasons why this deck is so damn consistent. It is just one card combos to one card combos to one card combos. Um, we run a few of the other live twin ones. So we run two live twin channel, which is the field spell. Um, it's not incredible, it's why I run two of them, but it can help with recurring. Um, so when your opponent's monster declares an attack, you can tribute um, a key skill or a Leela and then negate the attack. During the end phase, you can target key skill or Leela in the graveyard and shuffle another deck, or if you can target them once, it's added to your hand. So typically we use it to recur the links because we are link climbing a little bit. We're link spamming. Um, and then I run a singular home. Home is all right. It's just a backup. Discard one, discard one card to special summon a key skill or Leela from the deck. So if for whatever reason you don't start the three pink, the three blue, the three sunny snitch, the three secret parcel, you always have home. Um, it's never never a bad backup. I'm tempted to get rid of it. We'll see We'll see with some more testing. That is all the in archetype live twin spells and traps. Move on to some generics. Can't go wrong with a singular right Gekki. I'm running three MSTs. Um, I was running twin twisters, but I like interacting with my opponent really well on their turn while keeping lots of cards in my hand. Um, I'm just a bit greedy with cards in the hand. <laughs> I know it's not ideal. You can obviously swap it out for Twin Twisters, but I'm just liking MSTs in this build. And then the two draw power cards, a pot of avarice and an upstart. You know, all pretty standard, and that's all these stable spells for the deck. We'll move on to traps. Now, I don't run any of the in you know, type live twin traps because I think 90% of them are absolute rubbish. They aren't worth running. So, like, there's one I think that's good, but I don't use it. I'm I'm not about it. I'd rather just use good, stable traps that I know are going to work. So, I run three Warning Point, two Solemn Strikes and a Solemn Judgment. I'd use another Strike if I had a spare one. And finally, a Compulse. And you think, Ty, why are you using Compulse? Well, it's a secret rare Compulse, and I love it. And I just find it good for, against... Um, boss monsters that can't be destroyed. I can just bounce it. Um, that's my trap lineup. Um, I might take out like, you know, the backup secretary and go to another trap, maybe another compulse, we'll see. But right now I'm just running the seven. And that rounds out the 40. Um, so that's the main deck. Um, like I mentioned, it's one of the most consistent decks I have ever played. Um, and now we'll get onto the extra deck, which is where a lot of the power comes from. So we have Evil Twin Kisa Kill, which I have two of, and Evil Twin Leela, which I have two of. And look at that, I'm just waiting on one more sleep for this. But essentially, um, they're all they're both link twos. Um, they both have the quick effect to special summon the other one from the graveyard if you don't control one. So for instance, Kisa Kill, quick effect, if you don't control Leela, you can special summon one from the graveyard. So for instance, um, you would link into... You know, let's say you do pink and blue. So pink and blue. You'll link off into Kisa Kill. Alright. Kisa Kill. Oh, I don't control Leela. Special summon the Leela. Go into Key go into Leela. Oh, we don't control Kisa Kill. Get back into Kisa Kill. 
right? That's typically the, the basic combo of how to get them both out of two monsters. Um, each of them have an effect where if they're summoned while you control the other. So for Kisa Kill is if this is summoned while you control a Leela, you draw a card. If Leela, sorry for knocking that. If you if Leela is summoned while you control Kisa Kill, you get to target one card in the field and destroy it. Um, incredibly useful to go back and forth, and there's a way you can activate both of them on your opponent's turn with the main boss monster of the deck, which I'll get into now, which is Evil Twins Trouble Sunny. Now the deck was missing a real true boss. It was missing that firepower, that kick. Trouble Sunny absolutely gives it to you. So it's a Link's Force, you get into it by going after two other Links. Um, it's main effect, it's obviously it's 3300, so it's it's fairly beefy, but it's main effect is tribute this card, special summon a Kisa Kill and a Leela from the graveyard, so that'd be the two Links. And then, because they're special summoned at the same time, they both get their effects. So, and it's a quick effect, so you can do it during your turn or during your opponent's turn to pop one and draw one, which you're just going to keep grinding and grinding and grinding. Also has the effect, um, which is just a normal on your turn effect, banish it from the graveyard to send an evil twin card from your deck or hand to the graveyard, which is this. So it's a way for you to get this into the graveyard to go into it on your turn if you need to, um, which can go up to 44 if you can't hit other stuff with this. But it's an incredible boss monster for the deck that allows you to pop cards in your opponent's turn at, like, whenever you pick. Because before it used to be you were at your opponent's mercy a little bit. But the main thing would be, obviously, have this out during your opponent's turn. Quick effect, get these two. Draw one, pop one. Um, and, you know, you've drawn once on your turn, once on your opponent's. Um, you've probably got a trap set. During your turn, you'll draw again, maybe slow or swallow. You essentially just want to grind, 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 go through all their resources while you're staying healthy. Um, this is one of my favourite decks to play right now. Um, I've liked it for a while, and I couldn't be happier that I decided to go all in and build it. It's reasonably cheap for the main deck. Um, the real pricey card being Keys to Kill Leela, with Keys to Kill being the big one. The rest of the main deck is pretty dirt cheap. Um, these ones have gone up a little bit since release, but you can find them for a good price. But if you're looking for a consistent deck, with, can be run as an engine, but you want to put your own tech cards in, I highly recommend Live Twins. I absolutely adore them. Um, thank you very much, guys. This is our deck build. If you've enjoyed this deck build, check some of the other videos out on the channel. Um, we upload a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! content, but we're move, slowly moving to other TCGs as well. Keep an eye on the channel, but yeah, have a great day.